hopefully you can hear me okay. Hi. Good evening, everyone. My name is Audrey. Welcome to my live stream. Yeah, today is an interesting day because I know it's tax season or tax day. So I hope you all did your taxes, especially for you small businesses out there, right? We, yeah, <laughs> fortunately for me, I just use an accountant because I don't like, um, or I'm just not very good at that kind of stuff. And for me, like spending that brain energy doing that stuff. Yeah. I'd rather just pay someone, you know, to, to do that work and do it right. So anyway, hopefully that this part doesn't, you know, like stress you out. I know it can be stressful for some people. Yeah. But yeah, sometimes you just gotta, you just gotta pay people to do their jobs and do it well. I don't know why I'm talking about that anyway. <laughs> Hope you all had a good weekend. Um, today, I just wanted to spend some time doing just simple illustrations. You know, I posted a video this morning and then someone asked, you know, like, hey, like, what are you gonna be working on tonight just so that I can get all my materials together? And I was like, oh, that's awesome, thank you. <laughs> like, you know, it's just nice to know that you're doing this with me and that was the whole purpose of all of these live streams it was to you know bring people together it was to create a you know virtual space a, a purposeful space for for us to create you know and take care of our creative souls and so i'm so glad that that person you know messaged and then um yeah and then took the time to um yeah like like tell me that she's going or she or he or um is i think it's a she but sorry i don't want to assume um that that they're going to join me and so thank you so much i really really appreciate that sorry i'm like being very careful because my cat rocket is laying down right here here i'll show you guys like look at this cat he's just like hanging out and taking up my workspace <laughs> So I don't know how I'm going to get around him. I'll figure it out. <laughs> anyway, hi, Gaddy. Hi, Linda. Thank you so much for being here. I know there are others out of you out there. Please don't be afraid to say hi. Anyway, so yeah, so that person messaged or wrote a comment and I was like thinking about it because, you know, I'm trying not to plan too much of what I'm going to do, right? But I was like, okay, just to like, you know, help this person out. I was like, you know, yesterday was National Gardening Day. How many of you garden? Any one of you gardens, gardeners out there, indoor or outdoor? You know, if you do houseplant indoors, you're a gardener. If you do vegetables or flowers or fruits out, outdoors, you know, you're a gardener too. So yeah, let me know if you're a gardener. But anyway, yesterday was a National Gardening Day. So I thought, you know, why don't we just draw some cute gardening illustrations? So let's do that. Um, hi, Martel. Hello. Thank you so much for being here. I know. Look at this. Look at this guy. Come back here. You want to say hi to everybody? He's gotten a lot bigger since since you guys last saw him. He's gained a pound or so. Um, he's about seven months now. He's going to be a big boy. I mean, just look how big he is. <laughs> look how much he stretches out. <laughs> He goes from like little cat to whoa. <laughs> okay. Mwah. I'm sorry, Rocket. Oh yeah, this is Rocket, by the way. Mwah. Good boy. Mwah. He's like very chill. Very, very chill. Mwah. Okay. Hopefully he will um not be a huge distraction. Usually my husband takes him um out of the studio so that you know so that i can just focus on this but we'll see we'll see <laughs> accordion cat gaddy that is so true so true <laughs> so true sorry I don't, I don't know why that that that's just such a funny comment accordion cat i'm gonna i'm gonna have to use that <laughs> i didn't even think about think about it like that i just thought he looked like a you know those um those like slinky slinky toys you know where, where it like expands and contracts it just reminded me of that but accordion is a better image <laughs> oh too hilarious anyway so i hope you guys are doing well um okay 
so let's see i have my watercolors so some of uh so, so that comment also asked like what are you working with <gasps> by the way this is what we painted last week the moons Ugh, beautiful i still love these i i really want to spend some time this week digitizing these and then maybe turn them into like a sticker series or <clears throat> or something like that so be on the lookout but anyway um yeah i keep forgetting my clips come on come on anyway um let's see so, yes yeah, so, so i have my watercolors da -da -dum. i have you know since they're going to be a little bit smaller illustrations i'm going to grab my size two i have a couple size two brushes let's see i have that one and then i also have oh, this one and then <clears throat> is around size three mm. Maybe this one. I actually have two of these round size three brushes, but they're just getting very unruly. Like they're like, the bristles are like spreading too far out and stuff, but this one looks better. So I just have two and three brushes, size two and size three brushes, I mean. And then I also have my color pencils. Now this is not a requirement, obviously. This, this is just what I'm thinking of using. Um, oh, hi, Martel. Oh, your metal palettes like mine. That's so cool. Yeah, this is that Meaden brand from Amazon. It's very, you know, it's very sturdy. Um, I love, I love that, you know, it has this pretty, um, pretty exterior, the color, because every other metal palette is that boring black color. And believe me, I love black. I mean, look at, look at what I'm wearing, right? But when it comes to watercolor palettes, like I already have three other black metal palettes, you know, so it was just kind of getting repetitive. And I was like, I need to be able to tell which one's which. <laughs> so this seemed like really appropriate. Um, yeah. And it has, this one is a 40 or this one was the 52. No, wait, 48. No, 52. Yeah. 52 um, pan palette. So yeah, really, really like this. And I love that you know, if you didn't know, you can always pop this out and then use this as extra mixing areas too. So yeah, but I don't generally hold my palette like this to paint with, but you know what? Like it, it does feel comfortable in my hand. Like my hands are pretty small, but it does fit pretty comfortably. So maybe I should try. I don't know. Not today though, <laughs> but some other time. Okay. So gardening illustrations. I mean, you know, I had, I had a couple mm, tabs open here so that I could just have some inspiration. So, you know, some of you might be thinking like, how do you get your inspiration? So, I mean, for something like, for something like, um, like illustrations, I usually just kind of look up the subject and then I add like the word like symbols or motifs or, you know, related images or something like that. You know, um, you can also use, you know, this is where like AI can actually help you. Right. So not AI as in asking AI to, to create an image, but rather to just give you ideas. So for example, you could just ask AI, like what, you know, give me, give me 25, um, 25 related words that has to do with gardening or 25 tools and objects related to gardening, you know, and then you can refine that search depending on what it spits out, you know? So, yeah. So I'm again, like I'm, I think we're at an age where, you know, AI is going to be around. Like that's the next best thing. It's just like when like the internet first came around, people were like flipping out, you know, like how are we going to um, be authentic? How are we going to, you know, prevent plagiarism and stuff like that and that same conversation is happening even with ai but i think there's a way to use it properly you know and use it well right any any tool any um any um i, I don't know what to call it yeah just just tool um can either be used for good or for bad 
you know, just, <laughs> just like with anything, right? And so I think if more of us are using it for, for the right reasons and also using it properly, then we can show other people like how to use it well too, you know, instead of just using it for improper uses. So just putting that out there, I don't, I don't want to get into a whole debate about AI because I'm not ready to go there, but just, yeah, <laughs> I think just if you're kind of feeling stuck, you know, you should use it. Yeah. All right. Well, let me zoom in just a touch. Oh, let me zoom out just a little bit. Oh no. Okay. Hopefully the zoom will stay consistent. <sighs> just take a deep breath in and out. You know, if you haven't ca caught my latest video, so this whole month, I'm doing relaxing watercolor exercises. So this was part one, or this was the first video where, um, where like the main idea was just to choose just two colors, you know, because sometimes we get dis decision fatigue when we have to, or when we want to relax, you know, with art, right? We see all these pretty colors, like, you know, even in this palette of mine, and then we get stuck and we get decision fatigue and then we don't finish or we don't feel good about it, you know? So in this first one, I really encourage people to just choose two colors. <laughs> Technically it's upside down, but it's okay. Doesn't matter. <laughs> just choose two colors and then, you know, do lines, simple lines, circles, and then another line. And then the second video was with florals because you know me, I have to paint flowers. So I painted leaves in the gradient uh, f uh, five petal flowers and then this it kind of turned out like a tie-dye pattern but I meant to paint marigolds so you decide which one <laughs> um, but for these I find leaves and flowers like super relaxing to paint and then even these marigolds I know it looks kind of complicated but if you watch the video you see that I literally just scribble I just go do 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 like I, I'm literally just scribbling and so I think that kind of helps you forget about what it's supposed to look like and just have fun with the process and so that's the whole purpose of all of these videos so far and then even this third one that I just uh, posted this morning um, we're focusing on an actual technique called layering but we're we're still using like super simple shapes and then um you know really just making them abstract looking and so this is just layering circles these are just layering green and blue geometric shapes and then this is just using lines and circles kind of combining the previous two but in a even even simpler um or uh, even simpler arrangement and again just layering like i love layering in watercolor because you see that overlap of colors you know and you don't get that with any, any other medium because those are opaque whereas watercolors is transparent so yeah please give these videos a watch and then also try it out you know and then so anyway so I'm, so I'm really just encouraging people like in these videos to just really slow down, like breathe in, breathe out, like don't worry about how it's going to turn out and just, oh, yeah. So even right now, as we get into it, you know, like I think it's really important, like I'm not going to do the whole um, like super, and you know what? No, 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 let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> we should still do it. Um, yeah, let's just take like 30 seconds to 45 seconds to just breathe in and breathe out. And I like to close my eyes and I just like to remind myself, like, I know it's hard for you to create sometimes, you know, I'm telling that to myself, right? I tell myself, like, I know it's really hard to create sometimes. There's a lot of mental blocks that get in your way, right? There's a lot of negative messages that get in your way. And this is something that I have to just say to myself every single time because like I'm, I'm trying to unlearn, you know, what I've, what I've been taught all my life. Right. And some of you might be in that same boat too. And I think it's important to not give up. Yeah. So even during this exercise, yeah, I'm going to be telling myself like, it's okay. I know it's going to be hard, but you know, just be proud that you showed up and be proud that you created something. So let's do that together. So just breathe in for four seconds, hold your breath for a second or two and then let it out through your, or exhale through your mouth, breathe in through your nose and just do it slowly, okay? So I'll give you 
about almost a minute to do that. Here we go. bring us back together <sighs> yeah that's good all right so let's get into some of these gardening stickers or gardening stickers <laughs> gardening illustrations which let's be honest I'll probably turn them into stickers I think that's why I said stickers um, but yeah so I'm just gonna turn on some music because I want to just kind of like get lost in just the drawing and painting but um, yeah before I go please make sure to give this video a like and please feel free to chat um, and put comments in there because I do have it open so I can keep an eye on it you guys are always welcome to talk to each other um, but yeah let's just like slow down relax and just draw some cute things together here we go
Asli. Um, what is that again? Can you tell me what your question is referring to? Are you asking about my watercolors or my color pencils? Or yeah, let me know what you're asking about.
as Lee. Oh, I'm glad that you got the question answered. Yes, the little scissors. I just wanted to kind of pause and just let you know, this is what happens when you don't plan ahead. I was starting to draw <laughs> that boot and then I drew it too big. <laughs> And then it got in the way of the shears and I was like, mm, yeah, that's what happens. But, you know, I point that out to show you that this is not meant to be perfection. You know, this is not meant to, um, yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just like cracking up because of course this would, this would happen now. Right. Um, and it's, and I'm here to tell you that it's okay. You know, um, yeah. Like we're just having, we're just having fun, you know? And I think it's important to kind of laugh at yourself because yeah, cause you should, <laughs> or I mean, not, not you should as in like you're, you know, you're supposed to be laughed at, but rather like, you know, we're, sh we shouldn't be taking these, these drawing sessions, these creative sessions, like all that seriously, you know, we're just here to like loosen up, have a good time and yeah so there's my little mistake quote unquote mistake and it's okay <laughs> oh we just gotta yeah like be okay with it you know what i mean and you know what i might just stretch it out onto this page because i'm kind of running out of room and so i'm just gonna fill in these spaces with some leaves because you know me and I might even paint some like little, like little sprigs of herbs or something. And that way it kind of looks more like a gardening thing rather than just random leaves. Like this looks like it could be like rosemary or something, you know? And then what about some cute little carrots? There you go. Yeah. Hi, Rena. Oh, Martel, <laughs> you thought it's going to be a mushroom? Yeah, it really could have gone anywhere, right? At that point. <laughs> um, Rena, just sipping tea while you paint. Okay, maybe we'll try a color pencil sketch of your week nine. Very cool. Oh, you're happy that these are on Mondays? Yeah, maybe. I mean, I, I will do my best to try to keep it on a consistent schedule. You know what I mean? Yeah. Fruit roll up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. I feel like I should add some flowers on there. So it doesn't look like a fruit roll up. Oh my goodness. But yes, Gaddy, absolutely. Yes. It made you laugh, but yes, to be reminded, yes, just to have fun. Like seriously, like why else, you know, like why else are we doing this? You know? Okay. I'm going to add some flowers because I don't want it to look like fruit roll ups. <laughs> I love this combining of watercolor and color pencil because I realized that, okay, so hold on, maybe I can like pause for a second. So I've realized that I'm a little bit lazy, uh, <laughs> not just when it comes to like art stuff, but even just like in life, don't tell anyone, you know, like I, not that I like shortcuts. It's not about that. It's more about like, how can I do this like in a more efficient but like fun way you know what i mean like i'm kind of more like that um and so i realized that when it comes to watercolor i like using the color pencils because of what i just did you know like even with these tomatoes i didn't have to wait to paint around the the red tomatoes i could just draw them first with the watercolor or with these color pencils and then i can just paint right over them you know like i didn't have to wait um 
And so I think that's something slowly I'm realizing about myself. And then even adding texture, I don't have to use paint. I can just use my colored pencils on top. So yeah, I think it's, um, you know, I'm, I think over the years, I'm just learning more and more about myself. And I think that's important for you to also realize too, that like, that like you don't have to always do what you have been doing. You know what I mean? Um, like, like there could be a, there could be another way, you know? Yeah. Okay. Let's try to find some other things to do. Ooh, what about a little flower pot? Yes. Little flower pot right here, maybe. I'll do it kind of on an angle so it looks cuter. <laughs> Little flower pot. And then I'll probably add some little details later. Okay. What about, let's see. Ooh, what about just like fences? I know that sounds kind of weird, but just like, mm, you know, just like fence posts. Let's see. Maybe I'll use that to kind of spread across my page. <laughs> these very loose yeah I'll add some shadows and details later let's see oh I think Serena but yeah like I think um, yeah <laughs> I think it's important to yeah learn more about yourself and I think that's what will also help you you know, prevent you from feeling that imposter syndrome because you know yourself, you know, the best, like when it comes to, you know, exploring art, right? And so, you know, if you're mixing mediums or, you know, trying something different, like you're doing it because you like it, you know what I mean? And so you don't feel, you feel less. I mean, you might still feel imposter syndrome because let's be real, that's, that's hard stuff, you know? But you might feel it a little bit less because, you know that you're being true to who you are, right? Okay, I really like these signposts, so I'm gonna do some more of these. I'm gonna do some like where where it's got like the those like um, the names of the names of the plants. So let's make a couple of those like plant markers. Is that what they're called? Plant identifiers. I don't know. <laughs> Just do a couple of those. Okay. I'm loving how these are turning out. I feel like I should do like a big shovel. I did like a little trowel, but I didn't do a shovel. So let's do a big one. Maybe here across, maybe in the middle. I'm trying to plan it out a little bit more now. <laughs> Ooh. Maybe I'll just do it right here. All right, 
Let me, oh. That's something, oh Gaddy, that's something you've been doing these days, writing down what you like. It seems so simple, but it's really helped you a lot in art. Oh my goodness, thank you for sharing that. Yeah, that's really good. And taking the time to reflect, I think that's also really important. You know, I feel like we sometimes forget to, um, yeah, just like reflect on what you're actually doing. And so I think that's why my 100 day project was so enjoyable because I had the time to um, like take breaks in between some of the days. Like I didn't go, you know, day one, day two, day three, like all in a row. I spent some days in between that, you know, taking a break or just kind of reflecting. And that's how I discovered, all right, I'm gonna, or not discovered. That's how I realized I need to get over my fear of using gouache. Like I really need to, you know, and I did, and I was so happy, but yeah, taking that time to reflect is probably just as important as actually doing the work, you know? Yeah, so thank you for sharing that. Uh, Martel, you're too slow. Oh no, that's okay. Um, you know, again, the point is not to go at my pace. The point is not to, you know, do everything that I'm doing. So please, you know, take your time um, and you can always rewatch this later, right? Um, but I'll try to like stop in between so that you can, um, yeah, take a, take a break. I don't know what I'm doing here. I was like starting to color it and then I think I wanted to do a design and then I kind of got away from me. So now I'm just shading it. <laughs> but again, I really like the color pencils because you like, especially on cold pressed paper like this, you can really see the texture like showing through. It's so cool. I really like it. Okay. Let's add. Little bit of detail here, some shadows. Let's see, you guys see anything else that I should add? I still have so much space, so you let me know. What else should I add? Oh, I said I was gonna add some more details to this one. You know what, this one, maybe I will, ooh, where's my white gel pen? Mm. <clears throat> maybe I'll add, mm. let's see. It's like a little simple design here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ooh, watering can. <laughs> you guys both said that. All right, watering can it is. <laughs> All right, let's do a watering can. I'll turn on the music again, but give me some more suggestions of what else I should draw. Okay, here we go.
<laughs> Hi, Gaddy. I love the comment that you made about how the hose, I made it pink rather than green. So I'll, um, I mean, I thought about doing it green. I really did. But I felt like there was a color scheme kind of emerging here, you know. So when I looked at that, so ignore this right page for now. But if you look at this, the yellow, you know, left page, you know, obviously you have your greens. This is my, um, this is my Terra Vert or uh, I think it's the PG-17. So it's like a very, like, it's, it's almost, it's not quite opaque, but it's like pretty opaque. Um, the equivalent could also be called chromium of oxide green or like ox, chromium oxide green, oxide of chromium, something like that. Anyway, so I love this green. It's one of my favorite greens. Um, so I had that color scheme and obviously the browns, you know, gardening, come on. And then the grays. But then I felt like it needed a pop of color, like some some kind of accent color. So that's why I went for the pink for that boot that could have been a mushroom and whatever else. <laughs> and then in the tomatoes as well. The orange carrots is kind of a another pop of color that I kind of wish I didn't do, but whatever. Anyway, so I felt like there was a pink theme kind of emerging. So I continued that theme even onto here. So I was like, okay, let's make the watering can pink. Let's make the strawberries a little bit pinker than usual. Let's do pink tulips and then the pink hose. So that's kind of how it came to be. I was like, I want to have some other things that are pink. And so, yeah, <laughs> but I'm glad you like it. And I'm going to keep this like flower theme going too here. Yeah, I think when you do like a sketch like this, um, again, not as important. So please don't get, you know, bogged down by the details, right? But it's really helpful if you have some kind of color scheme. So, um, yeah. It's not absolutely necessary, you know, but it kind of helps because then it just looks more cohesive. So you have like your neutral colors and then just a couple colors that kind of really stand out, you know? Yeah. Oh, very cool, Rena. You're, you're chatting or you're using Gemini chat about your next art piece. That's really cool. Yeah, the pink and green combo. Pink and green is always a great combo. It just really is. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Okay, I have a couple more small spots here. So I'm thinking about what to add. Let's see. Maybe I'll add some more flowers. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm just adding some more shading. I just love how creamy these color pencils are. Like so, so creamy. They're so nice. Okay. Um, oh, thank you, Gaddy. The playlist. So these are songs downloaded from Epidemic Sound. So I have a subscription to them. And a lot of YouTubers use their music because, you know, um, yeah, the music quality, the sound library is just so vast. Um, so anyway, yeah, so there's just all these different songs that I found on Epidemic Sound, but you can probably search like soft piano or, um, yeah, I, th I think soft piano is probably what you want to search for in Epidemic Sound. I have a link to that in my description box. If you scroll all the way down, there's a place called music and then you can try epidemic sound for 30 days. Um, but yeah, it's just music from there. Um, okay. Let's paint a couple more things. Oh my gosh. It's almost an hour. Oh my goodness. Okay. So this is what I mean about like time going by so fast. Oh, I mean, I, mean, I didn't mention that, but I, but I say that from time to time. Cause like, yeah, you just don't realize that time just, whoosh like it just goes past you so you know what let me just try to wind down let me let maybe i'll do like an onion oh you can barely see that that's okay uh, let me just try to just add a couple more things here and then 
try to call it an evening. But I had really a lot of fun just kind of like painting these with you. So I hope you did too. Okay, there's my onion. All right, what else, what else? <laughs> mm, let's see, what other, what other vegetable or tool? I got most of my tools. I'm trying to think of like the stuff that I actually use, which is mostly all on here except for like actual seeds i guess you know what maybe i'll just like draw some like little little grouping of seeds okay <laughs> easy enough mm, a red onion okay yeah um well i did the yellow onion <laughs> Maybe I can fit a purple or red onion here somewhere. Mm, maybe I'll do it like up there. Let's see. Now, red onion is more purpley. So, you know what? I'm going to make it pink though, just because I, 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 I want to keep up with this reddish, pinkish theme that I've got going on here. So, let's see. I think just by the shape alone, you'll be able to tell like what it is. There we go. Okay. It looks more like a, it looks more like a radish or, or, um, or like a turnip. Oh, well, <laughs> that's okay. All right. Well, I think that's a wrap. I mean, I could sit here adding some more details here and there. But I really love how this turned out. Ah! Yay, yay, yay. Okay. Whew. Like I said, I can't believe it's already been an hour. Oh, my goodness. Time really seriously goes by so fast. Okay. Let me just hold this up here so I can get my screenshot. Yay. <laughs> I'll hold it here, maybe. Or I'll hold it here. I never know these like screenshots, these YouTube screenshots always like always elude me. I'm like, is this how you do them? I don't know. <laughs> but what you can do to help me out is definitely give this video a thumbs up. Thank you, Linda, for always reminding us. Um, yeah, it really helps. And yeah, every minute that you watch, like I'm getting so close to monetizing my channel. I'm so, so close. So thank you so much for watching. You guys are the best. Next Monday is when I'll be live again. Again, please make sure to watch my relaxing video series. I really want you guys to feel more just confident when you paint, you know, and feel that relaxation, you know, not that we're like, you know, achieving Zen or Nirvana or anything like that. I'm, that's not the purpose. The purpose is like, you know, when you have so much stress in the day and you want to unwind, like I'm telling you that you can do that with watercolor. So I hope you check these videos out. Thank you again so much. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.